Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tinney, a.k.a. the Series 7 Guru, coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with a explication request on, on 65 and 66. This uh, concept of uh, beta and alpha is on both those exams. Best free supplement for your paid and study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. Uh, with my discount code, 15% discount code at checkout. Comes in, I think, $40, $50, $60, dollars somewhere in that area. I'll leave it up to you to do some homework on that. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content like this. Uh, here is the requested explication question. XYZ Corporation has a beta of 1, and ABC has a beta of 1.4. XYZ has returned 12%, ABC, ABC 18%. Uh, ABC had alpha of alpha is excess return over beta. And so beta is the volatility uh, as compared to the market markets SP 500. So here it says XYZ has a beta of one. And so that means when XYZ has returned 12%, that is the market return. And so we take the market return, we times it by the beta and we get 16.8. That would be our expected return. Uh, however, we got 18.8. And so the answer to this question is we had alpha of 2%. Pretty straightforward. Now, this doesn't have the risk-free rate of return. And remember, risk-free rate of return is what we get without having or risking our capital. So in this question, we don't have to deal with the risk-free uh, return because it wasn't given. Uh, but sometimes it was given, how would we approach it? So for example... If we assume the risk-free rate of return is 2%, whatever we assume, that's what we get without hazarding our capital. We would simply minus that 2% from the return because remember, we could have got two without doing anything. So now the market return was 12, but we kind of got 2% risk-free. So we really got 10% from the market, right? That's the idea of uh, minusing that risk-free rate of return. There is our market return risk-free, we times by the beta, we get 14. And remember, we got 18.8, uh, .8, but we could have got two without risking our capital. And so we got 16.8. So if they would have asked that uh, that way and give us the risk-free return, the answer would have been 2.8%. This question, there's no risk-free to deal with. And so we simply do it. I think it's a pretty simple concept. I don't think you're going to have to calculate uh, alpha or beta I think people always, test takers, overestimate the amount of math they're actually going to have to encounter and deal with on the 6566. I would know beta is a measurement of volatility as compared to the market as a whole. So 1.4 means this is 1.4 times more volatile than the market as a whole. And then alpha is that excess return. So hope that was helpful. Uh, I've had this come up a couple times. I'll try uh, and dig out one that somebody requested I did uh, for them. And uh, we did a private line of screen, but I'll put it up and maybe we can deal with a, a situation we have to deal with the risk-free return. Here we didn't, so we're done. <laughs> Remember, uh, inch by inch, your 65, 66 is a cinch, yard by yard, your 65, 66 is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request. The answer to this question is the alpha is 2%. And we have excess return over beta of 2%.